Uh, welcome, friends, uh, to this uh, lecture one of chemical engineering in pharmaceutical industry. The notes I am going to actually prepare or I am going to explain is from chemical engineering in the pharmaceutical industry, R&D to manufacturing, edited by David J. M. M. J. And as you see here on the right hand side on the green color for the box, it shows a brand name, compound and the marketer. So it shows a list of the topmost pharmaceutical industries such as Pfizer, Bristol Myers, Squibb, AstraZeneca, GlaxoSmithKline, Amgen and Wyatt, AstraZeneca, Eli Lilly and Company, Centacore, Merck and Company, Sanofi Aventis, Roche, Takeda, Wyatt, Abbott, Genentech. Yeah, might be in some cases I might pronounce it in a different way, but to actually make it easily understandable, I used a phonetics way of pronouncing it. The most important thing what we have to understand here, the basic, you know, drugs here, that means medicine, the compound, atorvastatin, lipo, uh, clopidogrel, azomeprazole. You, know, you can see this, you know, there are many, many things. Infliximab. Yeah. So the intention here is to actually tell you this compound is not sold with that particular name. See, if you see this in atorvastatin, it is not sold in the market as atorvastatin. It has a brand, brand name called Lipitor. So that is how, you know, a doctor prescribes and you also, when you go to the medicine shop, they understand better with the brand name rather than the compound. Yeah, let's go to the next one here. So, coming to this application of the chemical engineering, this uh, pharmaceutical you know, or you know, this chemical engineering, the role or the application is towards the process research, development and manufacturing of the pharmaceuticals. In across the pharmaceutical industry, chemical engineers are employed, you know, where it employed in R&D through uh, to full scale manufacturing. That means from a phase of R&D to a phase of full scale manufacturing in technical and management capacities too. So generally in general, if we speak, what are the pharmaceuticals? Pharmaceuticals are the drug delivery systems in which drug containing products are designed and manufactured to deliver precise therapeutic responses. Here, therapeutic means which actually have, uh, you know, which heals, right? So the drug is considered the active, that is active pharmaceutical ingredient. Okay. The drug is considered the active, that is active pharmaceutical ingredient. Whereas the formulated final drug is simply referred to as a drug product. So the basic different terminology here, R&D means research and development, APA means active pharmaceutical ingredient, DP is a drug product, FD means food and drug administration, EMEA stands for European Agency for the Evaluation of Medicinal Products. Now coming to this FDA, you know, any pharmaceutical industry or in marketing, any pharmaceutical API or medicine you need an approval from the FDA. But what is FDA here? In United States, federal and state laws exist to control the manufacture and distribution of the pharmaceuticals. Specifically, the Food and Drug Administration that stands for FDA exists by the mandate of the US Congress with the Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act as the principal law to enforce and constitutes the basis of the drug approval process. What is the role or what is the responsibility of this? Uh, what is FDA? Uh, FDA is responsible for protecting the public health by assuring the safety, efficacy, and security of human and veterinary, uh, veterinary drugs, biological products, medicinal, medical devices, food supply, cosmetics, and products that emit radiation. The FDA is also responsible for advancing the public health by helping to speed innovations that make medicines and foods more effective, safer, and more affordable. The res other responsibility is helping the public get the accurate science-based information they need to use medicines and foods to improve their health. 
PHRMA, it is actually, there is a statistics which is given by this PHRMA, more than 300 new medicines have been approved in the past 10 years that have contributed to increase in the life expectancy. Now, I hope you are able to, uh, I'm trying to make some sense here. This PHRMA stands for Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers Association or manufacturers, we can say companies actually put together. <clears throat> yeah, so then for example, since 1980, life expectancy for cancer patients has increased by about three years and 83% of those genes are attributable to new treatments, including medicines. Death rates for the cardiovascular disease fell at dramatic 26.4% between 1999 and 2005. Yeah. Now, this particular table shows top 15 pharmaceutical companies you know, as per the IMS Health. Yeah. What are the companies? Global Market, Pfizer, GlaxoSmithKline, Novartis, Sanofi, Aventis, AstraZeneca, Roche, Johnson & Johnson, Merck & Company, Merck & Co, Abbott, Lilly, Amgen, Wyatt, Teva, Bayer, Takeda. So these, as per the sales of this table, you can see there's no rank wise and the sales, if you can see the sales wise, it actually uh, gives us the total uh, what do you call it? total sales. You know, globally, if you start from the first company, ranked one means Pfizer. So it starts from Pfizer company and the 15th company, Takeda, these are the top 15 companies. Okay. Uh, this is the end of the session or end of the lecture one. Uh, we'll see the continuation of this part in the next lecture.